evening guys this is sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we'll be learning about how to make a backlit logo in the dialogs evo so before getting started with the tutorial i want to mention that all the dialogs evo files the working files which i will be using to make the youtube tutorial will be made available to download yes you can download it there will be a v-transfer link in the description which you can check and you can download it maybe many of you are aware that v-transfer link expires in a week so click on the bell icon of my youtube channel so that whenever i post the video you'll get a notification and you can download the link so let's get started here is a sample file of the project. I have used a 3D model of the building which is available in the dialogs catalog. This is the logo which I am which I'll be backlighting. If you want to learn how to make the logo you can refer my previous video on logo making. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So we'll start by importing the logo in the project. Place the logo in the plan view. If you have to make any changes with the dimension, you can scale it or you can manually change it here. I'll not be doing any changes with the dimension of the logo. Next, next step is importing the IS file or ULD file or LDT file of the strip light. So we'll be using the Collingwood strip lights here. You can go to the Collingwood website and type for strip. Or if you know the model number, you can directly enter the model number that is LC, LSC43, enter. This is a strip light we'll be using. So here directly you can check for more info. And there is an option for photometric IES file download. So you can click here and download it. Since I previously have worked with the Collingwood I have the ULD file for this strip light. So this strip light is of 4.8 watts and only 10 centimeters. Okay. No worries if you don't have the ULD file because I'll be sharing you the download link for this working file. Okay. Once you are imported with the ULD file, I'll also show you how to import the IES file, how to reduce the size of the IES file and then import it. But we'll say it in the later part of this video since we have the ULD file now we'll use it place one individual luminaire make sure you're still in the plan floor plan view next thing is we are going to draw the reference line same in same way our logo is so you can go to the reference line helplines select draw polygonal reference line and trace the whole logo we'll start with the first point click and then second point repeat the process until you complete the whole logo once you are done right mouse click and click on end don't choose close polygon click on end okay now repeat the same for the rest of letters
once you are done drawing all the reference line go to the light select the luminaire which you already placed okay go to copy and arrange here you can find the option of copy along existing reference line click here zoom in and choose your reference line select it will show you the quantity here it's 18 numbers you can increase or decrease the number of luminaires let's make it 20 for now follow curve shape you can also make the rotation offset for now let's keep 0 degrees and check apply so it is proper though there is more space between luminaire to luminaire I fear that maybe we get the dotted effect so what we'll do is we'll delete this and do the process again select the luminaire copy and arrange copy along existing reference line click now we'll make it 25 follow curve shape don't do any changes here for now apply now it's better there is not much gap between the two leds we'll repeat the same process for everything Okay, so we have placed the LED strip as per the logo. Now we'll, now we'll select everything. Hold the shift key to select all. Click on move tool. Then go to the side view from the right and check if all the luminaires are properly placed. You can see this is the line of the luminaire. If you want to see the curves, the distribution curves you can select this one if you want to see the direction of the led you can select this one now everything is properly placed we'll get our logo down select bring it down your logo must touch your led strip so it is exactly above the strip next step is we'll group all our luminous hold shift key to select everything Then go to copy and arrange and group it. We are grouping so that when we are moving the logo, we move all the luminaires together. Once that is done, hold the shift key and select the logo. So now you can see if you zoom in, the LED strip and the logo, the both are selected. We'll move the logo outside because we want this to be placed outside the building. Okay. Then go to the side views and rotate it. Check in the 3D. Then adjust the position. I'll keep the logo here. Okay, done. Now, the pro tip here is color your logo black. If the reflection factor of your logo is more, the light will reflect more and it will create a smudged backlit effect. If your texture is black, it will absorb some, some amount of your light and there will be no smudged effect of the light. Okay, so we'll make it fully black, replace the material, done. Calculation objects and run entire project. Calculation is done and you can see the nice backlit effect of the logo. You can make some settings here like you can adjust the color and you can also adjust the brightness if you want it to be more brighter 
So this is how you make a logo backlit effect in the dialogs Evo. We'll discard this results and we'll try importing the IES file of the strip light. I'll show you even that method in case you don't have the ULD file. Calculation objects, close it, go to the light. We'll download this IES file which I showed you in the starting of the video. Download, import luminaire file, next. So the length is 0.9 meters, so 0.98 meters, which is equal to one meter. So you can approximate it to one meters, but I don't want it to be one meter. I want it to be 0.1 meters. So I'll change it to 0.1 meters. Here too, I have to make it 0.1 meters. Height, it depends upon you. If you want to change it, you can change it to 0 0.002, okay? and finish place individual luminaire place it now you can see the height the length of the strip is less but this is not enough you need to change even the wattage and the lumen output of the strip accordingly so from one meter that is 100 centimeters we change the length to 10 centimeters so now the wattage becomes 0.48 watts and lumen becomes 35 lumen. I'm just shifting one decimal point further because it is 10 centimeter now. Apply and if you want to change even the CCT of your strip light, you can go here to LED and change it. For now it is 3000 Kelvin which is fine for me. No other changes required. So in the same way, rest of the procedures remain same of placement and running the calculation so this is it guys in this video in the next tutorial we'll be learning how to make a rgb effect of the backlit logo that will be in part two so if you found this tutorial helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you want to download the working files of my youtube tutorials please Turn on the post notification and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.